Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ayyul Ahbab Doing good deeds Charity Fasting Loaning your brothers and sisters that which they need in times of hardship Are all righteous deeds and they all fa fall under A'mal al-Salih as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Asr, وَالْعَسَرْ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاسُوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاسُوا بِالصَّبْرِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the time. By the time. Verily mankind is in a loss. Then he makes the exception. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Except those who believe. وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And do righteous deeds. وَتَوَاسُوا بِالْحَقِّ And they call to the haq. وَتَوَاسُوا بِالصَّبْرِ And they exhort one another or they are patient. So righteous deeds from the various different ways of giving and doing righteous actions. Sadaqah is one of the many types that can benefit your soul tremendously and expiate your sins and draw you nearer to Allah. The Prophet said in the Hadith of Qudsi, Unfuck ya ibn Adam, unfuck ilayk. Spend, O son of Adam, and I will spend upon you. And then in another hadith of Abi Huraira, Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala reported that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If anyone gives uh, sadaqah, the equivalent of a date from that that he earned honestly for Allah, uh, Allah accepts that which is lawful. The Lord would accept it with his right hand, and even if it is a date, it would foster in the hand of his Lord as one of you fosters his colt till it becomes bigger than a mountain. And this is collected in Sahih Muslim. Letting us know that sadaqa, charity, from our earnings, from lawful earnings, is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah will accept that and even something as small as a date and that the sadaqa the reward from it and the benefit from it will only increase you and may Allah bless us to give in his cause ameen ya rabbil alameen And in another hadith, also reported by Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O people, Allah is good and therefore accepts only that which is good. In Allah tayyib, wala yakbal illa tayyib. And Allah commanded the believers as He commanded the messengers by saying, O messengers, eat of the good things and do good deeds. Verily, I am aware of what you do. And he subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O those who believe, eat of the good things that we gave you. He then made a mention of a person who travels widely. His hair is disheveled and covered with dust. He lifts his hands towards the sky and thus makes the supplication, O Lord, O Lord. Whereas his diet is unlawful, his drink is unlawful, his clothes are unlawful, and his nourishment is unlawful, how can then his supplication be accepted? And this is also collected in Sahih Muslim. In this hadith, also it illustrates for us the importance of lawful earnings and spending in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that this is the sunnah of the messengers, alayhim after salatu wa salam, that Allah granted them lawful and righteous provisions. And that we should only eat the halal. And we should earn and spend from the halal. And our clothing should be halal and lawful. So we should be concerned about those things as well. About our earnings. About our provisions, our food. And our clothing that we wear, that it is within the Islamic bounds. 
that it's covering your what needs to be covered. And that another benefit of this hadith is it also illustrates for us that having lawful provisions and lawful earnings in the halal is a reason for having our supplication answered. And the opposite, likewise, is that unlawful earnings, unlawful food, eating the haram, doing the haram, sinfulness, and unlawful clothing, not covering yourself properly. All of these things are prohibited, prohibitors of us having our supplications answered by Allah Azza wa Jal. And we have to ask ourselves, which one of us is not in need of our supplications being answered by Allah? And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah increase our risk so that we can spend it in his cause.